Hello and welcome to News Analytica. I am Afumia Yalio and this is your news analysis for the day. Ethiopia, five key issues to address in 2023. The year 2022 has been marked by significant achievements in Ethiopia in several aspects, including in the signing of the peace agreement to end the war in northern Ethiopia, the commencement of power generation from the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, a higher than expected economic growth, the country being on the cusp of wheat exports, the Green Legacy Initiative, and so on. However, despite these signs of progress, there remains a lot that needs to be addressed in the coming year. Today's news analysis will focus on five key priority issues that require effective intervention by the government and its partner institutions. First, internal armed conflicts and violence. There has been violent attacks against civilians in Tigray, Oromia, Amhara, and Afar regions. Political problems have also flared up in the capital recently. The agreement with the TPLF also requires a strict implementing regime for it to lead to a sustainable peace in the country. A protracted violence in Walegga has reached a stage where federal intervention is the only solution left to restore security in the area. According to Armored Conflict Location and Events Data, ACLED, there have been a total of 1,485 violent events in Ethiopia in 2022, including 668 incidents of battles and 412 incidents of violence against civilians. Addressing violence between different armed groups in Ethiopia should be given priority in the coming years. Second, skyrocketing inflation. Despite the notable economic growth and expansion of GDP, a stubborn inflation has hurt the well-being of communities throughout the country. According to Ethiopian Statistical Service, the general inflation rate in Ethiopia for November 2022 was 35.1%, which is a 3.4% increase from the previous month. The November 2022 general inflation rate increase were both in food and non-food prices. The significant inflation in the economy has increased the cost of living in the country, hitting particularly the poor and could threaten stability if left unrest. Inflation thus requires a bigger political and policy focus in 2023. Third, conflict and disaster-induced displacements. The prevailing violent conflicts and natural disasters in the country have caused a large influx of internally displaced persons IDPs, in Ethiopia with the highest number recorded in February 2022 at 4.5 million. According to the IOM's National Displacement Report on Ethiopia, there have been a total of 2.7 million IDPs as of July 2022, out of which 1.8 million were displaced by conflict, while 533,923 people were displaced by drought. These displaced people require adequate interventions that include both emergency humanitarian support and sustainable responses. Fourth, corruption. Corruption has become an epidemic, bringing a structural challenge to the political economic environment. It continues to plague the country's socio-economic development and affects overall efforts to build peace and security. According to Transparency International's Corruption Perception Index report, Ethiopia ranks 87th and scored 39 points out of 100 in 2021, indicating the public sector is perceived as corrupt. Government officials, Brokers and investors who build corrupt networks are the main actors engaged in corruption. And the main corruption-prone sectors in Ethiopia are service delivery, land management, finance, procurement, justice and development organizations. With widespread corruption practices in the country, the general public continues to struggle to get basic services at public institutions without paying bribes. Addressing the pressing challenge of corruption will be the key issue in 2023. It is recalled that the government established a seven-member National Anti-Corruption Committee to coordinate the overall campaign against corruption on the 17th of November 2022. Fifth, sustaining peace initiatives. There have been various peace initiatives in Ethiopia in 2022, and the establishment of the National Dialogue Commission and the Pretoria Peace Agreement are the most notable ones. The Ethiopian National Dialogue Commission was established under Proclamation No. 1265-2021 on December 29, 2021. The main objective of the Dialogue Commission is to resolve the difference of opinions and disagreements among the various political and opinion leaders and also segments of society in Ethiopia on the most fundamental national issues through broad-based inclusive public dialogue that engenders national consensus. 
The Commission has begun working on operational structures with all regions and city administrations except in the Tigray region and held discussions with the competing political parties, community leaders and other members of the society so far. The Dialogue Commission and its activities are expected to pave the way for a national consensus and keep the integrity of the country. On the other hand, the peace agreement between the government of Ethiopia and the Tigray People Liberation Front TPLF, has delivered improved security and humanitarian provisions as well as restoration of essential services including telecommunication, electricity and banking in the conflict-affected areas in northern Ethiopia. Sustaining these significantly remarkable twin achievements will be a key assignment for Ethiopia in 2023. This was our news analysis for the day and thank you very much for staying with us.